The boxing world this weekend was taken aback by the death of Hector Macho Camacho, the 50 year old fighter last fought in 2010. He had notable fights against Felix Trinidad, Oscar De La Hoya, Roberto Duran, Julio Cesar Chavez, among many others, a multi division winner. We bring in Robert Axel, the editor in chief of boxing.com to talk about Macho. He was 79, 6 and 3, 45 knockouts. What happened was over the weekend, or excuse me, prior to the weekend, he was in Puerto Rico. He was in the passenger seat of a car in a parking lot and two men we believe who have not been identified opened fire on the car. The driver was killed. Uh, Camacho took many bullets, one to his face. He was in critical condition. Then it was announced that he was brain dead and his family decided to pull the plug. Robert, you have seen many fine boxers in your career. What do you make of Hector Macho Camacho? One of the finest, one of the fastest, and an amazing talent. Uh, Boxing was blessed to have him performing as he did, and yet it was boxing that really saved him from the sort of troubled youth that he was. Uh, it wasn't as though he ceased to be a troubled young man or a troubled adult, but boxing gave his life focus. Boxing gave his life meaning, and he in turn gave something back to boxing that was invaluable. He was a terrific champion. He was a terrific performer. In the car, there were 10 bags of cocaine that were found, one of them was open. He had a troubled past. His former wife, Amy, uh, got a restraining order against Camacho. It was a troubled past, but it seemed like boxing was his best way to channel this anger that he had. He even um, was convicted of burglary from a computer store in Mississippi. However, he was given probation. He unfortunately violated that probation, but only served a few weeks in prison. He won three Golden Gloves titles as an amateur, again a multi-division winner. What exactly would you say he meant to many of the places that he grew up in, but also to the sport? Well, to the places he grew up in, I mean, he was a hero. He was a hero in Spanish Harlem and in Puerto Rico. Uh, he was so flamboyant. He was an impeccable showman. He really set the standard that has sort of now become the norm uh, in terms of ring entrances, in terms of gaudy outfits. I mean, he was... <laughs> He loved the limelight, um, and he and the limelight and the limelight loved him back. Uh, he meant a great deal to the people of Puerto Rico, uh, and he made, meant a great deal to boxing as well. He did have a troubled past. Uh, he had a troubled present, and um, and of course his ending, as tragic as it is, uh, is not less surprising than it seems almost preordained. He was like a shooting star, and as you know, shooting stars have short lives. And that was certainly the case with Hector Macho Camacho. Camacho was survived by his mother, one brother, three sisters, and four sons. Again, Hector Macho Camacho, dead at age of 50. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome.